reach that potential. I think we're seeing it. Carlos Lasmanis, the world number one, is evidence of that. He hands it over to Robin. Down to Alfred. Back out to Batman. Jab step. He can connect from two range. Lajan. He's going to try to feed it down low. The whip pass. Strong layup. Nice move. To get it in there for the score. So, Lenegar opens things up. And Latvia say the floodgates are open from deep. They got two pieces, too. <coughs> Blajan, he came through dripping. Mies is trying to answer. And Austria up by one. Strong drive. And then answering a the two-piece from the Latvians. We've already seen the ladies Latvian team get a win. With Batman. Come around the screen. Foul call. So Miesis will start with it. There's again Las Manas, world number one. Congratulations, Brody. He comes up Tyrion Lannister on the Jado. Short. Real short. He's gonna take a break, get a breather. Be Crewmans, Miezes, and Chavares in the fence. Man, it's too long. Nortner. Put some pressure on the D. And Lenegar as well. Lajan off balance. Saucy. 4 2. Crewmans just missed the mark. Lajan. This Austria team put forth a competitive effort here early in the 4 2 game. I wouldn't put too much stock into the first minute and a half, though. It's a lot of, it's a lot of game to go. Boris Miesis, 2017 Europe Cup MVP, a classic tournament for this Latvian squad. This is when they, they first put their names on the 3x3 map. They beat Serbia, the number one team in the world. Dushan Bullet and Company, they beat them in the semifinal in overtime. Miesis with the two-piece, I'll never forget it. And then they beat Slovenia to take gold 2017. Miesis has it tipped away. They got four seconds to get a shot up. Oh, Batman mishandled it. I think he was looking for the alley-oop. World Tour's top scorer, Las Manas, mishandled an opportunity to get a, another bucket for Latvia. But Nortner trying to swing it down. Tavares defending against Poliak. And he's whistled for a foul. First look at the fellas today. Third game of 12. B and D all day long. It was A and C yesterday. We don't love them. <laughs> oh, big boy game. The actor didn't come up big underneath. That man held his ground. He gets the feed. What a guy. Peace. Miesis setting up the uh, the score. 4-3. Austria. Pull up. Lenegar couldn't do it. Crewmans. Oh, that's just a thing of beauty. That's a team that has been gelling over the past two years. Now they are a fine-tuned machine, this Latvia, but not even they can stop that. Weddy, two-piece. We got ourselves a 6-4 game. Austria, they came to play like it's recess. Lasmanis, his shot is off the mark. Poliak with a good contest. Quick to the corner, try to get it down low. KLM has it uh, knocked out of his hands. He's going to get a rest. As will Poliak, but look again, look at, look at Blajan. Give you some space, he's going to give you a taste. And that's exactly what he did. Can Krumans 
answer. True. Two piece. Six up. So we got a 6 6 game. I think Latvia realizes they're going to have to shoot out, shoot Austria. So listen in. So both teams have come into this one with guns a-blazing. And Austria, I think, has shown Latvia this is not going to be a walk in the park. Strap up. Shoulder fake. Blajan fading. Missing, though. Alfred to the corner. Gives it up. Gets it back. Drops it off. Batman with the lay-in. 7-6 game. Yes, is getting in there, mixing it up with Lenort with Lenortner. Try to say that three times fast. I didn't do very well. Yes, is crossing. Gives it to Las Manas. Almost got the fadeaway to go, but instead. They won't get a score, but they will get a foul. That one whistled on Miezis. Three fouls apiece and a one-point lead for Latvia. But Nortner swinging through. The Penguin defending down low. And called for the foul. He's in the process of the shot. So Nager will get a chance to step up. Making his 3x3 Europe Cup debut. He's been a part of the game since 2017. Makes it, misses the free throw. Stays a 7-6 game. Krumans step back. Hand up. Threw it off. Good hustle. Was able to save it. Say the possession for that. I think it's going to be red ball. Yep, Austria. So couldn't get to it quite in time. But you got to credit him for the hustle. Meantime, Anchor couldn't get it to go. Miezis scoops it up, clears it, steps back, in and out, looking for Batman. Fading like my barber. This looks a lot better. 8-6. No hate to my barber. 8-7. <laughs> One point game. Yes, is stepping through. Definitely. A lot of contact. Foul call. That'll put uh, Norris on the strike. A.K.A. Robin. And the 2017 Europe Cup MVP. He's having a great year on the tour as well. He has a great trip to the strike. He gives Latvia a two point advantage. But Nortner can take it right back. It's slippery when wet. Got to be cautious around this Austria team. They can take you down. Nine up. Minus oh, just out of reach from Miezis. So Latvia having some trouble separating themselves from this Austria team. But now we're under five minutes to play. And this is what I say about when that veteran experience can benefit Latvia. They know what it's going to take to get a win here down the final stretch. See if Austria can grow up right before our eyes. Blazan goes up. He misses. On the recovery, though, a foul is called. That'll be six on Latvia. I don't think that was in the process of the shot. It'll be possession for Austria, top of the key. And no part. Oh, actually, it was in the process of the shot. So never mind. But Nortner will shoot. 
Nortner, 22. He's a young gun. But he misses at the strike. Yes, is getting harassed on the perimeter. They won't even let him touch the ball. So Krumen says, that's all right. I'm going to take it myself. He gets Latvia a one-point lead. The Nortner just barely missed it. So that'd be the only thing they had with this Austria team is to kind of scout what they had done. Austria beat Croatia, Czech, Estonia, all to qualify for the uh, Europe Cup qualifier. They have never met against each other, obviously. So fifth foul call on Austria. They got one more to give. Trailer by just one. It's last year's silver medalist. Same squad. Robin. He can't find a mark from two ranks. Boliak now setting up shop. Sets the screen. Lenortner gets to the free throw line, but Miezis. He's able to get a hand on it. That'll leave four seconds on the shot clock for Austria to get the business. Not a whole lot of time. That's on TV timeout. Before we get to it, 3.56 left, and let's listen in to one of the huddles. Yeah, so we got ourselves a little game of tug of war going on between Latvia and Austria. They keep going back and forth, the momentum shifting. Only four seconds left to start that possession for Austria. So credit to the Latvian defense there to prevent the score. Osmanis lost it. Lenager fighting underneath. Javar's whistle for the foul. Lenager will get a couple of free throws. Yeah. That's where the grown men play down there. Definitely some contact. Mr. Nager will shoot not one but two. Not the end of penalty. He makes good on the first. And the Nager cashes in on the second as well. 11-10 lead Austria. Three X three action coming at you all week long in 4K. Oh, he had a clear look at the rim. The Aces missed it. Now the Penguin fading out of bounds. Deuces is wild. That was a wild one. Wow. Uh, Ref Modic trying to keep temperaments down. But an eighth foul will put Lenager back on the free throw strike. So Latvia losing some discipline defensively. Austria with one more to give. Giving Latvia all they want in this game. This is why uh, you don't win games on paper. You win it between the lines on the court. And although it's a 12-12 game, Latvia won't be looking uh, looking past these dudes. It's Miezis misses top of the key. We'll see if they lock in. It's Lenortner. Try to get down onto Lenager. Hey. 
250. We officially left in our first men's game of the day. Yeah, he's just getting an extra breather. He's probably thinking to himself, man, who in the hell is this Austria team? Man, why the heck can't we get rid of them? <laughs> it's because they shooting like Cupid. That's why. Last day of group play as we enter the medal rounds tomorrow. It'll be win or go home. Only two spots from each group. So we'll see our eight teams round out the championship bracket. All right, so the Negro, we start with it. 12 12 game. Make that 13 12. Blajan with a strong move. Look again. Oh, cross to set things up. No fear in this Austria squad. Nice slip. Batman. Finishes it off the glass, 13 all. Lajon, give and go. Lenortner to the rack. Austria back out front. The tug of war continues. This time, Miesis pulls the trigger. And these goals ain't loyal. Austria didn't uh, handle the possession well, though. They throw it away. There's that Austrian flag flying. They got at least one fan here. Hoping that they can hold on to this one point advantage. With 227 left. A lot of time left. Robin. Oh, he puts on the brakes. But he couldn't break him off. Stays a one point game. Oh, risky pass. Yes, stolen. Oh, man down. 11 30. Got to finish that off, Miasis. One point game, it stays. Alfred with the steal. Yeah, okay, it's off red. Take another look. A quick change of direction. Put the big man down, but he wasn't out for the count. Robin couldn't make it count. Lenega, the runner. Too much protein on the shot. Foul on the floor after the miss. That'll be number seven on Austria. So they'll put the number one player in the world. I'm sure Carlos Lazamanis likes the, ri the, the ring to that. The world number one at the stripe. Shooting two. He cans the first. Second, counting. <laughs> Nager. Krumitz just could not stick with him. Krumitz felt like he was pushed a little bit. Again. Yeah. I'm not mad at that argument from Krumitz. A little bit of a shove. That, the exhaustion is showing them that look, we came to play, man. Two free throws, two big ones. A minute 41 left. Nager telling the Norton to get out there on Miezis because of that quick kick out. That's them understanding transition defense, too. I'm impressed with this Austria team. I, I got to admit it. They played a, a hell of a game. The, Regardless of how this one finishes, minute 30 to play. Batman says, uh, let me clear some space. Oh, oh, it's a grown man's game. 
Las Mamas couldn't capitalize, though. Now, Lenegar whips it down to Poliak. Number one out of Austria. But the hook is missed. A minute exactly to play. The 16-15 game. Austria. Oh, that was a great attempt. The ball makes its way back to Lenegar. Poliak has it. And approaching 45 seconds to play. Oh, Lenegar. Got it back, put it up on Miezis. Missed it, Javars though, the rebound. Nowhere to go with it. He goes to the world number one, Las Manas. KLM with the kick out. Miezis off balance. That's not the possession that Latvia wanted. 20 seconds left, and still a one point game. Poliak can make it two, but Javars with the D. Robin, down to Batman. This is where you earn that ranking. And he scores on the inside to tie things up. 10 seconds to play. Austria, they've been splashing the two. They go to the cup instead. Miezis with the steal, he can get it up. Oh, but he passed it up. And they run out of time. So we go to overtime. Tied at 16. Austria. Push it. Latvia. Here in the first game of uh, Pool D for the men. How many of y'all saw this happen? So you talk about great contributions. More to the Nager with six points. And Tony Blajan also with six. To lead the way. Because Austria has managed to force overtime with Latvia. Should I say the other way around? Because Latvia was playing from behind more so than Austria was. Lasman is doing his thing. He's got seven points. Rubens with six. And yes, wants a timeout before we go to OT. Let's listen in to uh, this Latvian huddle. Let's see what they got playing. So I knew this group was going to be an exciting group with D. I think most people picked Latvia to obviously is the favorites. They've met with the previous two editions. They're one of the best teams in the world, obviously. But they could lose this. This is one shot away. Two piece would end it. Lajan trying to clear some space, but Las Manas is draped all over it. Blajan puts it up. Oh, he had that one online. Great hustle on the rebound, too, in Austria. Will survive to get another shot. This time, Lenegar with the step back. But Chavars was not having it. Got a hand up, great contest. Rock out of bounds. Chavars will check out. Krumans will check in. That'll give him a little bit more shooting with Krumans on the floor. But not as effective rebounding. Chavars, top rebounder on the world tour. Robin, he did it in 2017. And he misses here in OT on his first attempt. Lajan coming around. He wants to rock. He said, give me the cookie. I'm ready to eat. Lenortner says, I'm hungry too. But he misses the two. And out of bounds it goes. Back over to Latvia. But, uh, Federation is looking on. That's the Poland team. Congratulations to uh, Poland, by the way. Uh, the ladies who won the U23 Nations League stop here. Both the men and women qualify for the uh, for the final. But back to this OT, Miezis to Krumens. Oh, got Las Manas wide open. Krumens takes it. Misses it to the left. Tracks it down to save to Miezis. Fresh shot clock. They're going to let Robin take it. He couldn't steal one from him. Batman to the Penguin. Buy a bucket right now. KLM, he wants to screen. He passes it up, looks at the two. And another brick. Oh, oh, oh! Batman just got crossed. And Austria up one. 
Viezis could win it, though. It's a no-go. Krumens, he's going to take a turn. Man, Latvia has had every opportunity here. They're firing bullets, but they're firing blanks. Lenega, one score is all it would take for Austria to get a dub. And that's ruled out of bounds off Latvia. And Miesis wants to challenge him. Out of bounds challenge. And we'll see whose rock it is. As we get another listen in to that Latvian huddle. Oh, good. So we get back to it. Still looking at that out of bounds challenge. We got a, a look at the replay. And uh, let's look again. Oh, that's a tough angle. Challenge is one note, so smart decision from Miesis to issue that challenge. Trailing by one, Latvia. They're going to take two. Miesis, do we got action? No, we don't. So Latvia in a drought. Something like the Sahara. Meantime, Austria, they had a chance to win it. They missed they missed Lenegger, who was wide open. How you miss the dude that's been doing the work for you all game? This one's got people on the edge of their seats. Including me. Out of bounds challenge again. Tough angle there. Uh, get another look from a different angle. This one should be a little bit better. Ooh. We're gonna have to see. This is uh this is why we got some of the best refs around. We go take a look. Ref Modic. We got the uh, magnifying glass out. Taking a closer look. And a critical call here. Again with Austria in OT threatening to put one on Las Manas in Latvia. There's a Hungarian uh, women's team, Amber Theodoran and Doran Medjeshi. They go 2-0 day one, shocked France. Beat France by double digits to end the day. Ref Monik has come to a decision. And that decision is Austria ball. Lenega, quick move. The scoop didn't touch the rim, so they couldn't follow it. So the tank for Latvia is on E. You see just how much they have left in the reserve. Lasmana setting the screen. He's going to curl, but and eventually get the rock. He's got Krumens on the move, too. Off balance, two piece. It's a miss. Krumens, though, hustling. Trying to get to it. Somebody kicked it. I think Krumens got a foot on it. Let's see if he can see the miss. And both of them playing FIFA. Rock to Austria. Game point. Krumens. Oh, he's beat. Can Poliak finish it? He couldn't do it. He recovers it. And a T-Sol buzzer beater with Krumens looking off from the ground. He got big boy. And that's a big win for Austria, who shocked Latvia to start the day in Group D. OMG. There's another look. That's a grown man right there. He is stronger than no deodorant. <laughs> Poliak. Took Krumens for a ride. Too little. Muscle milk. 
And it's time.